In this video, I will show you the full dental crown procedure, the most important steps you need to know. Please subscribe to this channel for more video like this. Thank you so much. Let get into it. A crown is used to protect and restore a weak or broken tooth, oftentimes from decay, or dental bridges in place covering dental implants, following root canal therapy and cosmetic modifications, such as covering misshapen or discolored teeth to improve their appearance. It can be fabricated in either your dental office for one appointment visit or some offices choose to have them fabricated in a dental lab, which would make it a two appointment visit. This video will illustrate one time made in office, so no temporary crown is needed. First, the dentist and dental assistant will pick a shade for the crown. They use something called a shade guide to help them match to the color of the rest of your teeth. Then the dentist will numb you up so you will feel comfortable and not feel the thing throughout the entire procedure. Next, the dentist take a scan of the patient's original dentition before it's prepped and crowned so they can make an identical crown shape. They may also take a scan of the upper teeth so they have an impression for the occlusion, also known as the bite. They may use a digital scanner or goopy impressions. It's time to prep the tooth. It is similar to a cavity filling procedure. The decay needs to be drilled out of the tooth. Once all of the decay is removed, then they will prep the tooth for the crown. They shave down the tooth into a shape that will allow the crown to be a cover or a cap right on top of it. Next, they will either use a cord to pack around the gums of the tooth or use a laser. Like you see here, the laser is actually troughing around the gum areas of the tooth, which takes the place of cord packing. Then they might even place a material called viscostat around the gums to prevent any bleeding. But you will not see much blood when they use lasers. Next, they will design the crown. After designing the crown, they will place a block of ceramic, either porcelain or zirconium, into the milling unit. And the milling unit machine is what fabricates the ceramic block into a crown to cap your tooth. You can ask your dentist if it's okay for you to watch the process of the milling after the crown is milled, they will most likely steam it and then bring it back to you for a fit test. Sometimes depending on the material of the block, they will need to stain it and glaze it and put it into a furnace to harden it and then bring it back to you for cementation. The last step before physically capping of the crown on your tooth. The crown needs to be prepared by etching it, rinsing it, and priming it. And the tooth needs to be prepared as well for the bonding. And now both the crown and the tooth are prepared. So the crown will now be capped onto the tooth. They might use a brush to remove residual bonding material around the crown before they harden it. Then they will use a light to light cure it, aka harden it. Then the dentist will use an explorer to remove any residual hardened pieces of bonding material and they will check the margins with both the explorer and with floss. Lastly, they may take a post-op x-ray if there is any residual cement seen on the x-ray, they will go back in with an explorer or scaler to remove it. You now see everything you need to know before your appointment time. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.